Brian, you are the, the CEO of Project Zero. Yes. Of uh, Danish city Sonnebo. That's correct. Uh, to become carbon neutral by 2029, yes. right? Yeah. So very ambitious goal here. In six years time, yes. In six years time, yes. exactly. So how are you doing that? And can it be replicated to other cities in Europe? Yeah. Um, first of all, I'd like to say that uh, we have been on uh, this decarbonization journey for the last 15 years, so we've been on a learning curve. And uh, of course, uh, things take time, but, but, uh, but uh, we have developed a, a model, uh, a very super simple model, how to make climate action happen mm -hmm. in your city. And first of all, you have to formulate a bold aspiration and make sure it has uh, local support. That's, that's very important. You have to gather people around the table and, and to have a, a, a common bold uh, aspiration. And then next you have to do uh, to develop a, a, a cost-effective master plan. Mm -hmm. And then to organize action, to execute and to follow up, the hard stuff. Right. And uh, there's no reason to wait and to make it too complicated because uh, cost-effective solutions are available. So just do it, just start it uh, today. So what are the, the concrete solutions that you can share, for example, from the Sonderburg? Um, yeah, um, uh, reuse of excess heat is, uh, is actually the core of, of uh, decarbonization in mm -hmm. uh, And, uh, and uh, it is possible because we have this uh, fantastic district heating system uh, in, in, in Sonderburg. Mm -hmm. uh, we have today, we have three, uh, three utilities, each with their own uh, uh, district heating grid it is going to be interconnected because we, we want to, to uh, reuse as much excess heat uh, as possible from supermarkets, data centers, from, uh, from, from industry and also because we have a power to explant in the future because of the business case. Otherwise, if we cannot utilize the excess heat, the business case would not be that good. Okay, and there is a lot of excess heat uh, available in, in Europe um, as you can read in, in the Danfoss white paper. Yeah, it's crazy. It's a, Crazy, yeah. You can like, you, the excess heat you have in Europe, you can actually cover um, the total heat demand in the EU. I think it's crazy, but what a uh, what a potential to go after. Yeah, yes. yeah. And it's not happening yet, so you really show the way, also in a certain sense, yes. in Sonderborg, how yes. this can be yeah. done. In yeah. But but uh, but uh, of course our, our model um, is is you know it's it's uh, it's developed in Sonderborg over the last 15 years, it, mm -hmm. it cannot be re replicated one-to-one -one in other cities. In principle, it can, mm -hmm. but, but uh, of course it has to be adapted to, uh, to the local context because uh, in particular culture is uh, different and also the structural framework is different in, in, in each city. Um, in in, in Sonderborg, uh, we are uh, able to, to, uh, to break down silos and it's because of the high level of trust we have in society. Mm -hmm. So you, ha you have to find a, a, a different way in another city, but, but, but you can, you can uh, easily be inspired by the, 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 the Project Zero model. Yeah, clearly. And the heat transition and the energy transition in any case are very local challenges. And yes, as you yes. were saying, it needs to be adapted to the local yes, context. Um, and, and one very concrete example that uh, next week we are going to sign a partnership agreement with Singapore Polytechnic. Mm -hmm. And they have also chosen the, uh, you know, the local approach. They have been inspired by the Project Zero model, but they are adapting it to the, the local context. So yeah. they're starting with a small pilot site mm -hmm. where they can control s stakeholders, then they are going to build from there. Uh, and uh, they are they're, they're aiming to, to, uh, to replicate um, uh, the, the first campus to the other campuses in, mm -hmm. in Singapore and beyond that to, uh, to entire Singapore. So, but start, start where you can control things and create a success. Right. Very encouraging story, I think, and yeah. great potential yes, um, indeed. to yeah. move forward. So yes. thanks a lot, Brian, yeah. for the insights. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you.